Hey guys, Colin Rojas here with Rojas Woodworking. Today we're going to be going over step number three in the DIY process for building a vacuum table for your CNC. In this, in this video, we're going to be going over surfacing your material. This is a very important step and it needs to come right after the first two tool paths that you will run as we talked about in my previous video. If you have not seen that video yet, I encourage you to go back and take a look at it. Uh, but anyways, moving forward here, um, surfacing. You wanna make sure that you surface your material. Whether you use MDF, HDPE, or phenolic, you wanna make sure that it's surfaced. Uh, if you don't understand uh, what surfacing is or the, um, the concept behind it, basically what it does is it ensures that the material that you are cutting is perfectly flat, level, and parallel with the gantry of your machine. This is gonna be very important uh, in executing future steps correctly, and it could be the difference between a good vacuum seal and not. And if you remember from my previous video, achieving a perfect vacuum seal or the best that you can get is the main objective in building a vacuum table. So what bit did I use to surface my HDPE is this guy right here. Give you guys a good look at it. Um, so this is an Amana tool bit and it is, uh, let's see here, RC2250. I believe this is an inch and a half bit. Um, I wouldn't, uh, so basically I'm not recommending that you use this exact bit because depending on the capabilities of your machine, whether you have um, the KL744, uh, that, that machine can definitely handle it. Um, but if you have a smaller machine or if you have different makes and models of machines, I can't speak for them all. I just wanted to give you guys an example of what a surfacing bit looks like and which one I used to get my HDPE uh, surfaced. So with that being said, let's go out to the shop and take a look at it in action.